morning guys hope you're having a wonderful day today we're here in vancouver on fraser street close to uh 54th and there's a new persian restaurant i think it's pronounced Salishme. and we're gonna go inside here check them out see what they have to offer how does the restaurant look and uh, yeah try some of their cuisine so stay tuned um i'm gonna show you the inside and also the menu so it's just recently opened they have uh, vegetarian cuisine vegan also halal and uh, basically their menu is uh, persian and it's their business hours they're open seven days a week from uh, 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Here's the address, 6956. I guess some of their specialties, so complimentary soup, as well as Persian kebab. say the restaurant's really nice and cozy they have uh, quite a bit of uh, room for small parties as well as large they also have a patio so I think it's just great for summer right now they can't use it but in summer if you do come by actually there's a gate that opens up similar to a garage and uh, they have a nice seating area in the patio that you can enjoy your meal The restaurant served uh, as uh, the uh, barley uh, soup, which is complimentary. Uh, when you go to Chinese or Japanese restaurant, they serve you tea. Here, they actually serve you uh, the soup because in uh, per Persian uh, uh, cuisine or um, you know Persians usually they have tea after the meal. So instead of uh, tea, they serve you this delicious soup. Wow. So it has barley, I can see carrot, there's mushroom, celery, um, and uh, you can see a lot of other uh, herbs and spices. I think they were saying they don't use like a lot of spices, but rather they also use saffron here. So Persian saffron, some of you might know, is really well known. And that's what they use in here. It's a lot of flavors, a lot of unique uh, taste. It actually tastes meaty, but there it's all veggie. I think the way that they've cooked it with mushroom, carrot, celery, barley, it's a lot of a lot of flavor, especially on a cold day like this in winter. This is a perfect soup. It's smooth. The veggies are soft. The barley just gives you a little bit of uh, crunchiness or firmness, but the rest is it's really good. Wow, that's really, really good. This is the next dish is called Ash Rishte, which is the Persian take on a noodle dish. So as you can see here, uh, they have basically yogurt. It's actually called Khurut, which is a dried yogurt. And then when you use it, you just mix it with water and it basically comes like a uh, yogurt. And they have, I think, some uh, veggies and fried onion on top. And I think this is saffron. So they, they mentioned that they use a lot of saffron in their dishes. And you can see here that there's also uh, kidney beans. And I think other uh, lentils. So let's give it a try. 
Thank you. Oh. Okay. Bismillah. I'm going to dig in and tell you guys how it is. Let's see. Let me get a good bite with some fried onion. Thank you. Wow. It's a wow, it's a explosion of flavors. There's a lot of a lot of unique flavors because there's saffron there, fried onions, uh, noodles, yogurt, herbs and veggies and, and um, uh, you got kidney beans, chickpeas as well as other uh, lentil. Wow. The soup is smooth and then you get the crunchiness from the fried onion and a lot of a lot of flavors from everything that is in there. Thank you. And there's more dishes coming. So we got some rice. This I think is a chicken dish and then this is a beef dish which is topped with fries. Oh wow. This when we um, were coming here like this is what I'm gonna try. And for a winter day like this, it's it's perfect. It's lots of flavors, and can't go wrong with noodles, you know. Kidney beans, chickpeas, everything's cooked perfectly. There's like a dried mint, I think. I can smell it. Yeah, I think they topped it up with dried mint as well as saffron, fried onions. really really good really really good mm. you know anytime that I need to have my noodle fix I know where to go they're not too far from Richmond just on the other side of the bridge up to Victoria and close to 57 so um, I'm gonna stop here at the noodle I'm gonna finish this and then I will let you guys know how these the rest are so stay tuned we'll be right back okay. okay so we got some saffron rice here um, each dish actually comes with an order of rice but we didn't want to have too much rice so it's not a lot of food instead we just ordered uh, just got one but if you do order any of these dishes it actually comes with rice so this is I think it was ground beef uh, lentil and a lot of other uh, ingredients or actually just chunks of beef and then they top it up with rice so we wanted to try something unique besides the regular kebabs and rice dishes that you get at Persian restaurants but they do have those so they do specialize in kebabs too but beside that they also have these unique home cooked dishes that you won't find at other places so let's give this a try you can see there's there's chunks of beef as well as lentil and I think you can see onion and let's give this a try cut into pieces and dig in Well, this is like home cooked food. What my mom makes at home. Exactly. Wow. The lentil goes really well with the with the beef. The rice is cooked perfectly. It just brings a lot of uh, memories back. My mom's actually away right now in UK. I haven't seen her for about a month, so I haven't had like you know her cooking. And with this, it's just bringing a lot of memories. This is my next go-to place and usually when we have rice we do cook fries and we have it on the side and here it actually comes on the dish so it's the same idea instead of ordering it on the side it comes with it so you can have it with your meal this I think was uh, chicken with, I think it was pomegranate, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just it's really soft. 
cooked it really well. And look at this guys. Beautiful. Tender to touch. Breaks easily. Let's give this a try. Mm. It's actually sweet. This the chicken. It has pomegranate or date? Sorry? Pomegranate. Yeah. Pomegranate. So it's actually made with pomegranate, and it's it's really nice. It's sweet. You get like a hint from pomegranate, but it's not overpowering. So it's like sweet, a little bit of sourness. And I think with with rice it goes well because you know you get like a hint of sweetness from the chicken as well as the sauce. Then the rice is salty as well as with the other uh, curry it goes really well. Tender, juicy, sweet. My next go-to place, actually here. Sometimes you want to have something different, you know? You don't want to have every day just a regular rice and kebab. Although they do have that, but this is more unique. You have more um, unique flavor profiles as well as unique dishes with lots of flavors. You have your meat here, fries, beans, meat here too with rice. Can't go wrong. So. 